What you doing? Hey, Ashley, I'm talking to you right now, but what I'm doing is we're doing the final wiring on the robot. <laughs> and then we're going to do the final pneumatics on the robot. All right. And then, and then you could ask these girls what they're doing. What are you doing, Jess? <laughs> Finding an outlet so I can plug this in to melt a piece off so that we can fit in a little cereal. <laughs> this piece right here. Yes. Come and look really close right down there. That needs to be melted out. Mm. Mm. What are you doing, Hannah? Wiring. Wiring what? Hi. Hi. We appear to have just received a large crate filled with a leaf. Um, I'm told it's a very beautiful leaf. I'm heard. Oh, they're opening the box. Alright. Madeline, would you like to? We're going to test the digital sidecar to see if we're getting correct feedback. All right. We need to have this extra capacitor to make it more reliable, except to put it in a place where it would be crushed to death every time it was installed. What do they consider to be an excessive amount of servos? We don't have any servos, so do we? Do we have any six volt servos? Probably not on this robot. Mm. Uh, I don't know, to be honest. This one, right? But that was in 2008, so I guess it's been more rugged and sort of fixed since 2008. Um, okay, so one thing we could do is that new digital sidecar, if we hooked up a DB37 to it and power and maybe a PWM or two and saw those working with our glitching all over the place, that might give us some degree of confidence. But we, we can try your thing first if you would like. We'd like to see if this works. Okay. We have to redeploy pivots. Okay, is it all software right now? Where will they go after the hybrid phase? So you got to know this because what's going to happen in reality is we might go five, six games in a row and not have anything to do with the connect. So all of a sudden we're going to be playing a game. It's going to be like, hey, you guys need to connect. And we're all going to look at each other like, um, I've been bounding all day. What am I supposed to do with the connect? Brains gonna latch up. Yeah. <laughs> I was like the same. You're not gonna be able to do. There'd be one guy in the middle of the Triton, and like I was a human player, and then like there's certain things you have to do with the Triton. Like you can only do certain things. You can only grab certain yeah. ways, and I'd never use it. And I'd use it when I was like, okay, what do I do now? Yeah, and you're gonna have brains. Because we didn't have a test. And everyone's gonna be looking at you like, oh, dude, <laughs> go. Actually, I'm gonna go now. The, the fastest way to get the Triton, all I did was just hold it out to the. So like I said, this is, I hate to dwell on the rare things, but the rare things are going to trip me up. How are we going to connect this to that is what we can do? Well, everybody has connected, so. I know, but I'm pretty sure there's some pretty fancy Wi-Fi stuff. How do I make sure we get the value of that stuff? I guess the way we'll do it, it plugs in just like a joystick. So if everyone has their connect and just plugs it in their own drive station on another joystick. And they stay next to the driver? And then they would just stay in here next to the drivers, I guess. And they would fancy mm, that's once again. And, yeah, fancy oh. dance. And it might, it might get a little bit confused if it's like around the background. It might be popping in the screen or something. It might help with this. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe that's a good idea. I'll make sure you can get out of the projector screen in front of or one of those big light boards. I'll keep someone from walking in the background and accidentally make it a lot of people. Shoot all the balls. Why does he only let us? I don't get the three ball thing. I think we should have a larger bag. Well, there's only 16. I guess they do have a ball on you. It's the only thing I can do. 